morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Friday, February the 2nd, 2018, and this is episode 2698. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome. Glad to have you for today's episode of Morning Manna. Today's episode is titled, TGIF. Stay tuned. Well, it is Friday, and for the most part, TGIF, and you see that being posted all over social media today. People are excited because to them, TGIF means, thank God it's Friday, (laughs) meaning the weekend is here. I don't have to work. I can enjoy family, cutting the grass, going to the boat show, whatever it happens to be, or maybe getting ready for your Super Bowl party. But today, TGIF has a different meaning. Instead of, thank God it's Friday, it's today God is first. Now, I got that idea from a really great devotional that is produced by Oss Hillman. He has a devotional that he does. It's called Today God is First, and it's Daily Workplace Inspiration. And you can find it at crosswalk.com, uh, Christianity Today. Just do a search for Today God is First and uh, use Oss Hillman, O S. And then Hillman, as it sounds, H-I-L-L-M-A-N. And you can find those devotions. You can subscribe to them, and they're, they're really great. And I want to I key off of that, and I want to talk about, about priorities. And let me begin by reading from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 6, beginning in verse 25. Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to his span of life? And why are you anxious about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is alive and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? Therefore, do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the Gentiles seek after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. You see, life is a lot like a coin. You can spend it any way you wish, but you can spend it only once. Choosing one thing over all the rest throughout life is a difficult thing to do. And it's especially true when there are so many choices and so many possibilities. To be completely truthful with you, We aren't left with numerous possibilities when you consider that Jesus himself gave us the top priority. When he said, seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. In effect, he said, this is your priority. This comes first. If I'm to seek first in my life, God's kingdom and God's righteousness, then whatever else I do ought to relate to that goal where I work, who I spend my time with, who I marry. Every decision I make ought to be filtered through the lens of Matthew six thirty three, where I put my money, how I spend my time, what I buy, what I sell, what I give away. Living out kingdom life means that everything must remain before the throne. 
and under the authority of the Lordship of Christ. Everything, you know, things have to be held loosely. So while life places before us hundreds of possibilities, some bad, some good, a few, maybe even best, but each of us has to decide what is my choice? What is my reason for living? In other words, what priority takes first place in my life? So let me encourage you today to make sure that today God is first. T-G-I-F. Father, thank you today for a new day. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. May you be honored and glorified in our life today as we seek first your kingdom and your righteousness. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website is morningmanna.com. My email address, Bruce Turner at gmail.com. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Go to our website. It'll take you to the Morning Manna Facebook group page where you can become a part of that group. Comment on the videos, on the audio uh, versions of Morning Manna. And uh, it'd be a blessing to me if you would do that. Till next week, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy. Choose joy.